Hello everyone and welcome to our new release uh, demonstration. Uh, in this release, I will show you our uh, new features such as integra integration with the new door lock provider, uh, improved task list with uh, filters and preview, uh, possibility to include orders in the booking offer and our new booking offer page for booking button as well as new uh, booking uh, uh, request form. Also, I'll explain you a few new features uh, regarding booking cancellation automatic from our channel managers. Uh, some new changes to notifications for multi-hoteling and uh, a possibility to show or hide hotel information in the invoice and some other smaller features. So let's get started from uh, our new door lock integration. It's pretty much the same as we had with Salto. So as a hotel admin, I can see integrations module in my menu. And I can search by door locks category and find our new provider door Macaba. I can send connection request, and after that, our support will help with um, setting up everything for um, managing your uh, doors, cards, uh, synchronization between Ambience uh, admin panel and our portal. Everything is pretty the same as it is with Salto. Uh, only thing I want to mention is that you can have only one uh, door lock provider integrated at the same time. So my hotel already has Salto integrated, but um, for some other hotels, I can integrate Ambience. And this is pretty much it about this provider. Uh, it works in the same way. You synchronizing your rooms with your locks. Um, and every time you create reservations, uh, the data is passed from our system to ambient system one way. That's pretty much it. So let's move to the next feature, to our tasks. So as hotel admin, I prepared a few tasks uh, for myself. And as we can see, our task list is by default filtered by current day so I can easily see what I have to do today and also uh, we've added the ability to preview uh, tasks before export so for example I am using actions here task list export and I see the data which will go to my export in the separate tab and I can use export action and the CSV file will be downloaded to my device. It's uh, nice and easy to use it on different devices, uh, laptops, tab tablets, mobile phones. So this is pretty much it about this feature. So we have um, five different exports here with different sets of data. Some exports are based on order delivery date some exports are based just on everything you see in front of you on the screen. So this is pretty much about this feature. Also, we made some improvements for specific um, employees, such as uh, housekeepers. Housekeepers now also see uh, the, all the exports and uh, they can use these features also. This is it about task lists. Let's move to the next feature, which is uh, improvements to our booking offer flow. So I already created a booking offer for myself. And during creation, I included few orders. It's everything is the same way as you create reservation. Just on the second step, you choosing booking offer status. 
And on the third step, as for our regular reservations, you can use this action to add orders. So after doing so, my guest will receive an email with uh, your special booking offer, with the booking details, with the orders I included, with total price, cancellation policy, um, the term of uh, how long the offer will be valid, and the link to uh, open this booking offer on the hotel's booking engine, if hotel has booking engine. So as I can see, I see the new page with booking offer with the timer of how long uh, this offer is valid, how much time do I have to confirm it, with all the details, uh, room type, amounts, um, dates, some gallery, uh, some additional information about the room, check-in, check-out, time, cancellation policy, facilities, so everything which my hotel has set, I can see beautifully on this page. And I have the ability to confirm or decline this offer. Uh, when confirming, I'll have to make a full prepayment. I'll be redirected to Stripe checkout page. I won't be able to um, show the full flow with payment because this requires real data, real card. But after successful payment, my status will automatically be changed. Uh, the status of reservation will automatically be changed to confirmed. And I will receive a notification in Bell, um, such as here, your offer has been confirmed. Um, so this is pretty much it about this feature. Also, also, I have a possibility to decline this offer if I have no payments there, no invoice, it will be declined successfully. And we can move on to our next feature. So next feature is the ability to make room request. So for example, I am searching for a reservation for seven people, for example. Let's go to rooms. And there is no room available with my search criteria. So what I can do, I can use this action and I can make the request. I can select any of rooms that I have in, in the hotel and I can fill in the simple form and place some comment and send the request. And uh, hotel admins of uh, Hotel Friend Demo Hotel will receive an email with uh, this request. I'll show the one I made previously. Uh, it was somewhere here. Yes, so this is the email the hotel will receive about the new booking offer with all details I selected and uh, with my credentials, uh, my contact data. Uh, I can add as many rooms to one request as I want and they all will be listed in this, in this email. So this is pretty much it about this feature. Um, also, as we already on a booking button, uh, we've also added um, the ability to group uh, orders by delivery date. So for example, I want to order some pizza. I can select some extras and I can select some dates, let's say June 30th. Add to order, 
And also I want to add this service for the same date, for the same time, and add some extras to it as well. And let's add, for example, uh, maybe some another service. For some different date, let's say <clears throat> for tomorrow. And some extra. Adding to order. And check in my side card. So as I can see, all my orders are grouped by delivery date. So I have order number one, which includes only Chia Burger. And I have order number two, which includes uh, pizza and tour. Um, they are grouped by delivery date and time. And also on my checkout page, uh, I can see everything here. So extras are displayed in this drop down. And let's make this order. Let's fill in some required fields. accept terms and conditions and book now. So I can see confirmation page with all my orders and extras data. Confirm continue and let's go to my trips. In my trips, all, all orders are also grouped by delivery date and time. My guest has a lot of orders made previously, but yes, this was some new improvements to make it easier to see, group and manage. So I can manage delivery date for my orders. I can change it. Uh, if my order was already confirmed by hotel, but I want to change delivery date, uh, by doing so, I will make my order uh, back to waiting status after changing delivery date and time. Um, this is it. Also some minor UI improvements and fixes were made. And also, uh, let's go back to our portal, to our main system. And uh, I will tell you um, about other feature, which is uh, enabling or disabling a header information in the invoice. So to do so, I want to go to my general settings, invoice, and I want to display header with information about the hotel or I want to disable this option. I have to save it here. And let's try create some invoice. Let's try this one. Let's open it in a new tab. And as we can see in our top part of the invoice, we do not have hotel information. So this was a request because some hotels have this data pre-printed already so we made the setting to make it possible for them to easily use our invoices also uh, some new information about booking cancellation um, from channels uh, before we had uh, some difficulties uh, because reservation was coming from the channel and uh, when reservation is getting modified from the channel, our system um, and Vubook, uh, they are synchronized in the way that every change is uh, canceling the previous reservation and creates a new one with the new conditions. 
So now uh, it doesn't matter if reservation was invoiced or paid. Uh, if such change is made, uh, reservation will be cancelled as well as its invoices. If invoice was paid, then uh, there will be cancellation invoice uh, with all negative amounts and uh, the amount that was paid will be returned back to the balance for further manual handling. Also, we've improved a uh, notification system uh, for those accounts that have uh, multiple properties. Um, notifications will be displayed only regarding the hotel you are currently uh, watching. So if I have few hotels and I am currently in one of them, I'll be seeing only notifications from this particular hotel. Before we were showing all the notifications, which maybe was not that uh, comfortable to use. And also from changes, we improved um, reservations import and export to make it easier uh, to transfer data between few hotels. Um, and some fixes uh, and improvements uh, regarding invoicing, um, billing accruals, ordering uh, when creating company invoices, uh, also improved company card in a way that uh, we noticed that some clients uh, save um, huge comments. So we increased the limits for the comments and note field in the guest, uh, in the company card. And also some um, fixes and improvements in some internal processes as invoicing payments um, and so on. This is it about the portal. Uh, we are also working on the uh, redesigning and improving layouts um, globally in all the system. I won't be showing it because it's just uh, small pixels left and right, but still trying to make it look better. Thank you all for joining and have a great day.